All right, today I'm going to show you how to supercharge your UPS uninterruptible or uninterrupted power source, whatever you want to call it. I'm not talking about the delivery folks, but you know, most of them, there's one battery, some of them have two, and so you're limited with what fits in there. Like, for example, this one is a, I believe, a seven. So this is a 7.2 amp hour battery. So very short life. However, there's nothing that prevents you from using a much larger or longer lasting battery other than the size of this compartment. So it's actually very easy. What I do is I just connect wires to here so they can flow out of here and then basically run the battery, whatever battery you want to run, outside of the unit. Now that accomplishes a couple things. One, it makes it real easy to change the battery because you don't have to disconnect anything from here, you know, unplugging all your stuff and then flipping this over and you just disconnect the battery, put a new battery on and, you, and you're good to go. And then obviously it doesn't limit you on the power of the battery that you utilize. I just drilled a hole here. You can get fancy if you want and put a grommet in there, although since this is plastic, I think you're probably fine and there's not going to be a lot of movement on the wire anyway. I prefer to do it reversible so that instead of cutting these and soldering in the wire, I will just put crimp connectors on here so I can plug it in and I can take it off anytime and just plug this back in if, if I wanted to switch back to having the battery internal. Strip off a little bit of the ends. I do find the crimp connectors hold up a little better if you tin the ends of the wires. So we'll do that. That's optional, you don't have to, but like I said, it, it seems like it lasts a little better. But just put a little flex on the wires. And just heat up the wire and then touch the solder to it. To a crimp tool. This is a real fancy one, nice one, but any kind of crimp tool will work. Just push the wire into the crimp connector and you want to see it come out a little bit on this side just so you know that it is ready to crimp and then just, in this case, you just squeeze the sucker and it creates a nice crimp that's nice and secure. If you have just an inexpensive crimp tool, probably want to crimp it two, maybe three places just to make sure that it is secure. And then those would just connect. And I would suggest taping so that they don't come undone because you see like that crimp connection there is not real tight. So taping them accomplishes two things. One, it's going to make it less likely for them to accidentally disconnect. And two, obviously, it's just an extra layer of protection from them touching and uh, shorting anything out. If you did this right, you'll be able to fish this back in like this. And this will be where you connect to your battery. So again, we're going to crimp this time female connectors that will go on the battery itself. Uh, you could obviously just touch it to uh, test. I need to have this plugged in and turned on to see how that's working, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and crimp my connectors on here since I'm confident that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then you should typically cover the ends with heat shrink. You can use a cigarette lighter, open flame, or this is the technically correct way to do it using a heat gun but it's obviously much slower I was using a cigarette lighter it shrinks almost immediately
And of course I like using color coded black for ground, red for hot. So that you don't accidentally plug in the wrong one. But that gives it a much more professional appearance and an additional layer of safety. All right, you can see it's already charging because it was at 12.5 before I plugged it in. So that's how you supercharge it so this battery is still good obviously I'm not going to throw it away they are expensive enough that I'll use it until it's bad but now I can use a 12 amp hour battery going forward which will make this thing last about twice as long as a 7 not quite twice but you know close enough if you wire this properly you can put multiple batteries and basically daisy chain them together now you don't want to do hot to ground, hot to ground, because that will double your voltage. You want to go hot to hot, ground to ground, but if you have two batteries or three batteries, you'll just double, triple, and so forth the length of time that this will run. I don't ever advise changing the voltage by connecting hots to grounds for something like this. When you've got your power wheels and so forth, you can bump up the voltage and get a lot more power, although you will spin those tires and tear those up pretty quick. Ask me how I knew that. <laughs> but for something like this, as many batteries as you want to hook up, as long as they go hot to hot, ground to ground. Supercharged UPS system.